Listen, when you around me, it needs to be an experience in all of the ways. One of which is the fragrance that I have on. You see what I'm saying? I don't need you to be smelling the air. Smell me. Okay? Honey, chow, boo, boo, juju, woo, woo. But I'm not a teenager and even I love it. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on. Don't play me. Gotta get it. Yeah. All right. This next one is Bibli... Bibli... Bibliothek. Jeez. Bibliothek. Get him. I know. You must be like, hey, what don't she like? Slow down. What up, Wagwan? It's just saying it's your girl, Minadivia, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a few of my most recent fragrance purchases. So if you're not already following me, follow me on Instagram, same name, Mina underscore Adivia. I'm also on TikTok. When I'm not here, I am there. I do random giveaways, so always engage, comment, like, you never know. I might tap you to ask you for your address to send you something for free. Now let's get into the video. So first up are some fragrances from our beloved Zara. Listen, first we had makeup, and maybe it was just me, but I didn't know Zara had fragrances. I don't know if this is new. I don't know what's going on. But first to start off with Ebony Wood or is it Woods? Whatever it is, I got that in the fall and I do like it a lot. It's definitely a fall scent. But then Carmen Renee, my friend, she's on IG and on YouTube, had posted that Fumi Monet had influenced her to purchase this trio of fragrances. So I was like, well, if y'all like it, I know I'm gonna like it. Now, Fumi Monet, you will have seen in my weekly vlog where I went to Dallas for a Black Girls Connect event. So if you saw that, then you saw Fumi Monet, who was actually on the Sephora squad this year. She's so sweet. She also has her own fragrance. I'm just plugging because why not? She has her own fragrance that she has created herself. She is a trusted perfume what reviewer. I don't know the right way to say it. Because she posted it, Carmen got it. Carmen posted it. I got it. And I love them. So here they are. And they look so pretty too. So first is Cashmere Rose. Now, honestly, if nothing else, the bottle is so cute in the light pink. Like, hello, the girls love pink, at least I do. So first of all, I want you to let me know if you have any of Zara's fragrances and if so, which one do you have? The first one is Cashmere Rose. Girl, when I tell you this speaks to my soul in such a great way. I don't have on any fragrance today outside of my lotion, hello. So I'm gonna wear one of these and I'm tempted to spray this one on the body, but let's wait a second, okay? This is an Oriental Eau de Parfum. It includes notes of lotus flower, peach, and white musk. It's an elegant, intense and feminine fragrance. This is so stinking good. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, let's spray. Okay. And let's enjoy. Mm, 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 mm. The Lord is faithful. You know, he really, really is faithful. He's always been, you know, and he'll always be. Let's just establish that now. It definitely is. It didn't say that it's woody. It's definitely the musk. If you're into musk, you're gonna love this because that is there. It gives very elegant, sexy. It's true. It does give me elegant. It's not for the youth. Well, it's because I'm youthful. Okay, let me not, let me not, let me not act like this is for the grandmas. You know what I'm saying? You could be a young grandma though. Like, who are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? This is so hot, mom. She's real sexy. You know what I'm saying? She got in the midriff. She's grown and sexy. She's grown. But she got in a midriff, you feel what I'm saying? She works out and she's, she just wants to smell good and sweet. It's a, it's flower, it's peach. Yeah, so it's got sweetness to it. I really do love this a lot. I'm gonna keep these because I wanna just see how, how they smell when they dry down. That is such a good one. Ah, and I've been spraying it. I have been spraying cashmere rosy because it's just so good. And interestingly enough, the next one I wanted to show you is Fabulous Sweet. As a suggestion of what else I might like was Fabulous Sweet, the first one. So they know. You like the same things, okay, honey? This is also an eau de parfum. It is lightly spiced, juicy fruit built around a bright pear note, sparkling facets of mandarin and pink pepper. It's sunny, exotic, flower bouquet. Let's just get a spritz because this one I do love too. I, I have smelled these because I, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait, but here I am sharing them with you. Yeah, I love the pepper. Gives it a spice. My room about to smell better than it already was, honey. Yes, yes. Yes, it is sweet. Let me look at the notes again. Hold on. Mandarin, yes. The pear. I'm getting the pear. Yes. Wow. It is definitely an exotic flower bouquet. It has tuberose and lang lang underlined with the refreshing facets of coconut water. I do also smell coconut. Oh my God. 
And it's an elegant woody patchouli accord wrapped in the addictive creaminess of black vanilla and tonka bean. All of those notes speak to my life. That is why I love this so much. Out of these, these two are my absolute faves. Might I add that these are $25.90. This stuff is pennies, you know, compared to the other stuff we be buying, honey. Pennies. Now, how long do they last? I can't say because I've been trying to hold out so I can do this video. We're going to find out, but you know what I'm telling you, though. At this price, you can give me a few hours and I'll be okay. You know, we're going to lay it with something else later on. You feel what I'm saying? This, these could be good at night. I'm going to wear these during the day, though, because this is some good stuff, you know? The other one, I mean, there's so many and they all look the same on the app. You know, the same aesthetic design. I want to get all of them. Let me just tell you, these were a blind buy as well and I'm happy. Now this one right here is frosted cream and I've sprayed it. I wasn't too over the top and my rationale these days since I have dozens of fragrances now is I need to be blown away when I first smell it. Otherwise, I'm not gonna buy it. But these were blind buys. I didn't know what they smelled like, okay? This one is more of an okay for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remind myself of the different notes. This is also an eau de parfum. It's a fresh floral eau de parfum with pastel colors with strawberry and peony diffuse all their soft airness. It's enveloped with white musk vanilla cloud with a creamy and light texture. It is light, that I do recall. And maybe that's why I was like, oh, I don't know. I like it to really be pronounced. It is light. It is creamy. It was the lightness that made me like, oh, okay. I like it. I'm not saying that this is bad. If you like for your fragrance to be subtle, this is gonna be perfect for you. It is creamy. I do smell the vanilla. I do smell the peony. It's beautiful, okay? So I'm reminding myself that this is beautiful. This could go for nighttime because it's so soft, but during the day, I need more of a punch. Listen, when you around me, it needs to be an experience in all of the ways. One of which is the fragrance that I have on. You see what I'm saying? I don't need you to be smelling the air. Smell me, okay? Okay, so this next fragrance is hilarious because I actually went into the mall, which I don't do, and went into Zara to see what they had, which I don't do. And while there, I was like, let me look at the fragrances since smell them for God's sake, right? And I stumbled upon a few, one of which was this. And again, I needed it to be like a, whoa, I love it experience. And it was for this one. So this is Rose Gourmand. It's an eau de parfum and honey child. I was dumbfounded. <laughs> I was like, wait, this smells so familiar. What is it? And I'm gonna tell you in a second. So this is an eau de parfum, spiced nuances of carnation, the luminous radiance of jasmine, the ethereal tenderness of peony, the gourmand notes of caramel, soft, delicious, and creamy. Meld together with a delicious and stupended <laughs> vanilla taste and establish the ultimate power of the rose in the trail of musky amber. Huh? Ni, chow, boo, boo, juju, woo, woo. This is phenomenal. I forgot what it smells like and I want to be surprised again. So let me spray it. Ah, this is so good. Okay. And then we're going to cover what I feel it is a dupe for. Okay. Ah, this is so good. It is totally, in my opinion, a dupe for Maison Francise Kurjan Gentle Fluidity Gold. This is the dupe right here, okay? If you don't have the 250 or whatever it is to purchase that in the smallest bottle, I need you to run over to Zara or order online right now, Rose Gourmand Eau de Parfum. And if you've ever smelled that other fragrance, you will know that it's a dupe for it. If you haven't ever, I'm just trying to tell you, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. I wanna put this on right now, but I wanna put on a different one. I don't know. Fragrance is so important to me because if you think about it, scents bring us back to an occasion, an event, a feeling. So think about the greatest times of your life. They're probably gonna be attached to some sort of scent. That's why I always have candles burning in my house. I, the scents are important to me. Not only that, fragrance on my body is important to me. I just love, love, live by a good fragrance. This is so good. Oh my God. Okay, so I had gone over to Sephora or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I have been like, okay, so Burberry her, right? I smelled her at one point in life and I was not blown away. I do recognize that there are a few iterations of it. I'm trying to find her right now on Sephora. And I don't know if I smelled the toilette. I don't remember now because when I first smelled it, I was not blown away. Perhaps my 
smelling palette wasn't very sophisticated. I don't know what it was, but I was not blown away. Okay, I don't think it was this one because I want to believe that if I smell this now or a year ago, I would have still loved it. But here we are, okay? And I smelled this and I was like, excuse me? <laughs> yes, I need that. Because the associate mentioned how when she wears this, she gets asked about it all the time. Now, again, who wants to wear a fragrance when no one is saying, wow, what do you have on? I need you to ask me every single time, wow, what do you have on? And this to me is one of those in my opinion, okay? So this is a fruity floral, and the notes are dark berries, jasmine, and musk amber. Remember, there was another one that had musk amber. Very, very good. And it's it's also a clear bottle. We've got the Burberry written on the bottom. Not me shaking it up too much. Okay, let's give it a sniff. It is so fruity. Ooh, it's like fruit on the body, honey. Wait, did this remind me of something? Is it the Rose Gourmand that has musk amber? Because now that I'm spraying them back to back, I'm, one of these has it in it. It's so good. Excuse me, let me not let that derail from the fact that this is a wow factor. I've worn this several times since I bought it. It's only been a week and I've used quite a bit. Okay, so I love this. I'm picking up on the musk amber. Oh my gosh, so, so good. Sweet. This can certainly be worn by a young girl. If you've got a teenage daughter, niece, for whom you would like to purchase a fragrance, maybe a starter fragrance. You know how, well, for me, I had Prada candy because it's sweet. So sweet goes really well for young, <laughs> young children, teenagers, okay? This to me would certainly be a great fragrance for a teenager, but I'm not a teenager and even I love it. Come on now, come on, come on, come on. Don't blame me. I didn't say it's only for kids. I said it was a great starter starter fragrance for a teenage girl. But for a young, fine, hot thing like me, this is also good, baby, because it is sweet, it is delicious, and to me, musk screams sophistication. So we've got the berries. I almost wanted to say juices and berries. You feel what I'm saying? We got the dark berry going. We got the jasmine going. And we got the musk amber. Honey, what? You want to smell like fruit? Sophisticated, ripe? Fruit, not that stuff y'all be getting, it's not right. Uh oh, baby, this is like ready to be eaten. You feel what I'm saying? You need this. Okay, so I picked up another Tom Ford fragrance, and this is Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. And honey, check it out. So, I while I was there at Sephora inside of Kohl's, I wanted to smell the Black Orchid because I saw that it was popular. And although I liked it, it was more masculine for me. I couldn't see myself wearing it, and it gave me chocolate. It has black, push, black truffle in it. It just wasn't for me. So then I said, let me smell Velvet Orchid and this baby is good. I wanted the bigger size, but all I had was this. This is good, baby. This is good. It's a warm floral. You know your girl loves a warm floral, a warm, warm and sweet. This is the accent for me. You know your girl loves a warm floral. A <laughs> you know your girl loves a warm floral. A warm <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. You know your girl loves a warm floral. A warm and sweet gourmands, keynotes of honey, velvet orchid, <laughs> orchid, A W kid, orchid. Warm floral, it's got keynotes of honey, velvet orchid, accord, A, hey, velvet orchid, accord, and a vanilla. I don't know what else you want from me. You know, if you ask me for anything else, I would think that you're being selfish. I don't know what else you want from me. It's Tom Ford, it's gonna last you a long time. It's sexy, it's elegant, it's sophisticated. Ooh, yes. This is like ball gown, black tie event, sexy f fine dining, four or five dollar sign dinners. You know, this is very elevated, you know. No, man, this is mad good. This is mad good. It is very sexy and sophisticated. Even Nini likes it. Nini was like, mommy, I like that fragrance. I said, please, okay. Ah. Please, the price is too high. It's not for children, please. I don't think that this is a feminine only scent, but uh, great, comma, it is. You know, it's given car payment. It's giving student loans that have been around for 20 years. It's giving life insurance, you know, it's giving mortgage, you know. It's giving rental property. Ah, it's giving rental property. It is giving luxury vacation, baby. Yo, it's giving hardwood floors. It's giving, <laughs> what's that thing called? What's it called? Baseboards. <laughs> this is good, okay? 
It's good. Now, I don't have any Byredo fragrances, although we all know about Mojave Ghost and Bal d'Afrique. Is it Bal d'Afrique? How do you say it? Okay, that. And for that reason, I wanted to try the samples because I want to find out which one is going to be for me. So I was, I believe it was a, I almost want to say a commercial. It was an ad I feel that I saw on IG. And I said, well, let's just go ahead and get the little library fragrance sample set or whatever and see what they talk about. Now I have smelled a few of these in store, but it's been a whole entire while. And I do not recall what any of these smell like. So let's smell them today, okay? Rose of no man's land. These are eau de parfum. Well, I don't know about all of them. This one is an eau de parfum. Oh, the box is all thick and then it's a sample. So annoying. Okay, let's just spray it on the box because I am running out of my testers. I am going to get more. We are elevated here, okay? Rose of no man's land. If you have any from Byredo, comment below. Let me know which one you have and if you like it. Yeah. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Hang on, let's pull up the notes. Oh my gosh, it has pink pepper, Turkish rose petals, raspberry blossom, Turkish Rose Absolute, and the base is Papyr, pa oh, how do you say this? Papyrus or Papyrus? Ah, God. That, and then White Amber, wow. Okay, wow, 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 wow. Rose of No Man's Land. Wow, this is there's a sexiness to it. Wow, maybe it's the Turkish Rose Absolute. It gives me Arabian scent. It gives me, yeah, like Arabian, Arabic scent like Dubai or the Emirati something it just it gives me that wow okay I like this I am going to because I also gotta so I purchased this right and then they sent me a coupon you see what I'm saying but I obviously didn't know what to buy because I hadn't smelled them yet and now that I have I'm going to buy the, the big version of this this is so good all right next up is Mojave Ghost this one I've seen all around and I've smelled it I just don't recall what it smelled like so oh let, let's see oh yeah I like Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is so good. It, it can totally be unisex, I would say. There's something fresh about it. Almost like it smells like skin. I don't know how to explain that. Okay, so it has top notes of musky ambrette. Jamaican Nesberry powder. Yes, it's powdery. Powdery violet, sandalwood, amber, cedar wood. That's where I'm getting the masculineness of it. Wow. Musks, vitiver, masculine, but I like it because of the mix. Violet. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mojave Ghost. Have you ever bought this? This is definitely an influencer fave, and now I get it. I smelled this in store and I liked it. Wow, putting it here. Gotta use that coupon. Gotta get it. Yeah. All right, this next one is Bibli Bibli Bibliotech. Ajish. Bibliotheque. Ghetto. I know. Okay, let's smell this for the first time. Oh, it's a sweet, woody type of scent. Interesting. Spraying some more. Hold on. Yeah, it says intense, woody, genderless. Yes. Plum cinnamon. It has leather accord, violet, birch woods, patchouli, and vanilla. I like this one too. Not me liking all of them. My God. Wow. This is really nice too. Oh, hold on. Yo, <laughs> you must be like, hey, what don't she like? Slow down. Nah, yo, this is mad good. Okay, wow. Uh, I'm gonna need a whole trailer for all the fragrances that I love because why, how, and when. This one is so good. I, de I definitely recommend. Like, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? If it's good, it's good. I can't, I can't take that away. You see? All right, next up is Gypsy Water. Water. If you're not like me, but if you're like me, it's war. Oop, not me. The point I was facing me. I was spraying myself. I'm annoyed. Okay, Gypsy Water. Hi. Boy, let's see. Mm -mm. It's very water. It's not for me. I can't do this one. Okay, this one is bergamot. It's nice, but it's not for me. Bergamot, juniper, and I like bergamot. Juniper berries, lemon, pepper, incense, orris, pine needle, mm -mm. amber, sandalwood, vanilla. I do like, but uh uh, this is not a good mix for me. Yeah, it's not gonna work. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I already sprayed the bottle. I'm gonna throw this into a giveaway. All right, this next one is called Blanche. Give it a spritz. Okay, it smells like laundry. I almost said furniture. Laundry, aldehyde. 
Oh, aldehyde, rose centifolia, mm -hmm. peony, violet, musks, and sandalwood. Medium intensity, it's a floral. Yeah, I like it, I wouldn't buy it. It gives me laundry fresh out of the shower. I do like it, I'm gonna enjoy this sample, but it's not one that I would wanna be putting on all the time. Like I love Jo Malone peony and blush suede. It gives a different flair to the rose floral. I do like this. I'm just not in love with it. This next one is Bal de Afrique. De Afrique? Afrique? I don't know how you say it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna give this a sniff. I have smelled this too, but I can't recall what it smelled like. This was months ago. No. It's nice, but I'm not blown away. If you smell this, comment and let me know. Again, I'm not blown away. It's just nice. Floral, medium intensity, African marigold, bergamot, buchu, cyclamen, Violet, Moroccan cedarwood vitiver. It's not doing anything for me. It's nice, but no. Now the last one I wanna show you is from Le Labo, baby. Now this, I stumbled upon this. I should not have been in that store. I should not have been in Saks, okay? So me and Cindy were in the mall. Like I said, had gone to Zara and was like, boom, school over the Saks real fast. We shouldn't have been there. We smelled so many fragrances, many that I do have on my wish list now. But this one from Le Labo, it just hit differently. And then here I am, you know, like dumbfounded, slapped across the face, just on the ground. You see what I'm saying? And here we are. So. So if you know about Le Labo, they can personalize the bottle for you. And they're expensive. I'm so annoyed. I fell in love with the fragrance before I even knew the price. So when the price came around, I was like, wait, how much is it? I was so annoyed, but I didn't want to be all like, uh, forget it. <laughs> okay, so the fragrance that I got is another one. Thank you. First of all, he is mad funny on TikTok. Shout out because I can never get that out of my head. So when we smelled this, I was like, another one. Thank you. And I can't get over it. So now when I think of this fragrance, I think of another one. Thank you. It's called Another 13. I got the 1.7 because girl. When I told him the price, I was like, wait, what? Okay, let's go with the small one, okay? Praise the Lord. And look, oh my God. So it was labeled in Saks in Houston. And then she wanted to know what I wanted to write on it. I could not think straight. So I was like, so she's, the lady suggested Men Not My Love and so that's what I have on here. But this is so good because you can personalize these for a gift. They have candles too. So what a great way to personalize it whenever you wanna buy someone a gift. So just FYI, if you're ever wanting to send a personalized gift. This thing looks so small. And by the way, I love this. I love this so much that I hate how small it is. I wish it was bigger because I feel like I'm gonna blow through this because it is that stinking good. So let's smell it again. I think I'm gonna wear this. Not I think, I know. I'm gonna put this on today. Come on, let's give her, let's, let's spray it up in here, baby. My room smells so good right now. It's gentle, it, it's it's soft, but it it's, ah, it, ah. Let me just spray it on. Ah, what am I doing? I'm wasting time. I'm just wasting time. Let's get the notes, honey, cause it's not on here. Okay, so in this, we have notes of Ambroxan, a synthetic animal musk. It's got an addictive portion blended with 12 other ingredients such as jasmine, moss, and bread seeds, absolute. And it doesn't provide any more, any more explanation of the notes, which I just realized, like, where, where is it? Like, why can't you tell us? I don't know, it's a secret girl, I don't know what's going on. But it has 13 notes in here. And girl, on this paper, it is not doing it enough justice. On the skin, God almighty. Now I'm reminded why I love this so, so much. It just, on the skin, it's just so sexy. Oh God, you know I like to spray between the breasts, honey. So let's get a little bit of that. Mm, 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 mm. Let's get the ankles, baby, because we can't miss the bottom of the body. We already got the arms, but let's just do it again. One thing that's not, ooh. Oh my God, this is so good. Okay, one thing that's not going to happen when you meet me is you not smelling something on me, okay? This is so good. Yes, yes. And we've lived and learned, so we're no longer rubbing and patting ghetto, you know? And we are no longer, we are we are refined. We've discussed this. It's still there, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's still remnants, you feel what I'm saying? But we wanna do better. This is so good, I love that fragrance. If I had to choose a favorite out of all the ones that I just shared, maybe another 13 would be it. I'm in love with it. I'm in love with all of them. So I'm gonna leave all links down below for you in case you wanna shop any of them. As always, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you watched my videos. You should have laughed more than one or two or three or four or five times because not only are my videos educational, they are entertainment too, okay? So give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you watch one of two other ones and leave here for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.
my leg is my leg is asleep. Jesus lamp. <laughs> I can't even move my leg. I can't do it.